Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good and staying safe as usual. Today I'm back with another pageant episode and this video is obviously about Miss Trans Queen India as you can tell from the title. It's been a while since I've covered any new pageants on my channel because honestly it's not that you come across new pageants every other day. However, a few weeks ago I was on a call with Dr. Varun Khatyal who's a celebrity nutritionist and wellness expert, also one of our panelists on the Conquer team. And during one of our conversations, he mentioned about this pageant called Miss Trans Queen India. So thank you to you, sir, because the video credits uh, for this particular pageant covering video goes to you. Otherwise, I would have not come across this beautiful initiative. Dr. Varun had been on the jury panel on the last edition of this pageant, and he had such amazing things to say about the organization that it definitely piqued my curiosity. And I went into the rabbit hole of researching and finding out everything that I could possibly find out about Miss Trans Queen India. If you've been enjoying the videos on my channel lately, and if you are also a pageant enthusiast or a pageant aspirant then make sure that you are clicking the subscribe button down below and also give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more pageants being covered and all of the information regarding their eligibility criteria and format and everything that you need to know as a contestant sounds like your cup of tea and that would motivate me to further make more pageant content the Miss Trans Queen India organization was founded by Reena Rai, who herself identifies as cisgender because you don't need to be trans in order to be supporting trans people. I recently had the opportunity to speak to her and she is such a lovely woman and so sweet to talk to. And she walked me through how this idea really began and what was the story behind starting this pageant because that was something that I think fills a big void in the pageant field. And at the same time, it provides opportunity to thousands of women whose life otherwise has not been a cakewalk at all. So Reena Rai had the idea of introducing a pageant for transgender women back in the year 2016. However, she did face a lot of obstacles in the beginning. And one of the main challenges being faced by the organization was to find sponsorships. It is sad that we still do live in a society where getting sponsors to associate with such organizations is still not the easiest conversation to have and people are not very willing to promote this type of uh, causes because of how it might adversely affect their businesses or their brands and those were the challenges that Reena Rai was facing six years ago. However, fortunately, she chose to not give up and the very first edition of Miss Trans Queen India was conducted on 27th of August 2017 where there were a total of 16 finalists who were shortlisted from over 1500 transgender contestants from across 10 states across the country. Since 2017, Miss Trans Queen India has had a total of four editions and the good news is their fifth edition registrations are currently open. 30th November is the deadline for this particular pageant audition forms. So make sure that you go and check out the website linked in the description box below and make sure to watch this video till the very end so that you are well prepared and have all the information you need to know about this pageant. Before I move on to the eligibility criteria for Miss Trans Queen India, I do want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, Kiro Beauty. You guys know that I I'm a recent fan of Kiro Beauty because of how it's skincare infused with makeup and so recently I've come across a new product which I have been loving because if you want a no makeup look and you don't like heavy foundations then Kiro has come out with their daily dewy serum foundation which is a powerhouse of three serums. This Daily Dewy Serum Foundation is a blend of hyaluronic acid, vitamin C and niacinamide all three of which are a part of my daily skincare routine and apart from that it is also infused with cherry extract and scintilla extract and coconut water extract and willow bark and so it's infused with ingredients that are good for your skin. If you've been looking to simplify your makeup kit and you are looking for an ultra lightweight low to medium coverage foundation that just makes your skin glow better then this is the perfect choice for you. I am using the shade Sun Beige 02 for this foundation. Like all Kiro Beauty products this foundation is also 100% vegan, cruelty free and paraben free as well. I'm in love with the texture and the finish of this foundation. As a consumer if you're looking for luxurious products 
but at the same time you want them to be toxin free then definitely check out the Kiro Beauty Daily Dewy Serum Foundation. Now coming back to the eligibility criteria for Miss Trans Queen India. Because most of the pageants in our country are trans exclusive, the main motto behind starting Miss Trans Queen India was to bring in the concept of inclusivity to the pageant field. Yes, we have seen Miss Diva include trans women in their pageant a few years ago. We are still waiting for similar steps to be taken by remaining pageants and other organizations as well. However, Miss Trans Queen India has gone a step further. Their eligibility criteria allows trans women regardless of their height, their complexion and their size. And the pageant doesn't have an age bracket either. So if you wish to participate in Miss Trans Queen India, there are three main rules for you to follow. One, you need to be someone who identifies as a woman. Two, you need to have undergone at least six months of hormonal therapy. And while regardless of your age, you are allowed to compete in Miss Trans Queen India. However, the crowning can vary depending on the age bracket that you fall into solely because of the international pageant rules and the franchises that Miss Trans Queen India is holding that current year. So in case you are up to 35, then you can be crowned as Miss Trans Queen India. However, if you have crossed 36 years of age, then you do get crowned, but you get crowned in a separate classic category only because the international pageant would have a certain type of rule, but the national pageant, which is Miss Trans Queen India itself, they do not discriminate on any basis because of your age. Now let's talk about the format of the pageant, which I'm sure is the burning question in your mind right now. Right now for the fifth edition of Miss Trans Queen India, the process to be followed is that you have to submit your profile and pictures by simply filling out a form available on their website, which I will link in the description box below. You can also go check out their social media profiles and so far about 50% of the seats that they are looking for have been filled so do not wait any longer you don't have too much time 30th November is when the registrations are going to close once you fill out the form on the website and have submitted your pictures you don't have to make any payment at this stage of the competition so you are free to register as many times as you wish and if your profile gets shortlisted then you will be called for an online interview and this is the process through which they are going to be selecting a handful of 20 to 25 contestants who will then go to Delhi NCR and compete in the offline pageant there. If you are selected for the offline stage of the competition, which is a three day affair in Delhi, then you will have to pay a participation of 25,000. Now I have spoken to the founder and so I do understand where this participation fee comes in from because like I mentioned earlier, getting sponsorships for this particular pageant has not been the easiest thing right now and so as contestants there is a nominal fee that you have to end up paying and all of that will get incurred in the stay that gets provided to you the outfits the photo shoots and all of the things that will be provided at the pageant and coming to what the contestants have to do in those three days and the three-day itinerary in Delhi will include your grooming sessions your photo shoots as well as the finale in which there will be a national costume round a talent round evening gown round swimsuit round traditional wear and your final Q&A round in the competition and it's such great news that the pageant is back this year because the last edition of the pageant was held during 2020 and because of the pandemic the reigning winner of Miss Trans Queen India Shiny Sony was crowned online and so it is after two years that the pageant is back so we can expect things to be so much bigger and better. The last thing that you would love to know as a contestant would be what are the rewards of winning Miss Trans Queen India and what international pageants do I get to represent India at? And so in the past, the winner of Miss Trans Queen India has represented India at Miss International Queen owned by Tiffany, which is conducted in Thailand. Apart from that, the first runner-up and second runner-up of Miss Trans Queen India also get the chance to represent India. And in the past, they have gone on to represent the country at Miss Trans Star International. What international pageants the winners will be representing the country are country are. What international pageants the what international pageants the winners will be representing the country at this year is yet to be finalized. It does depend on the franchisee that the Miss Trans Queen India organization is able to acquire, but there are a lot of 
good opportunities in store for the candidates who end up winning the crown at MTQI. And I would highly recommend this competition and pageant if you are a trans woman and have been looking for a platform and an opportunity to put yourself out there and just get an experience of what this pageant is all about and so there you have it all the information that you need to know about miss trans queen india i loved going back to pageant covering and finding out about new organizations how they work the format and the value system and the message behind them let me know if there are any more pageants that you would love for me to talk about on this channel and as always give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video till the very end as always i love you guys so so much and i will see you very soon in my next video Bye-bye.